Hi guys, my name is Sumki Vyuka Kobe Femme and welcome back to a new video. I have a pile of books in front of me to talk about today because I have a wrap up slash TBR video. So we're gonna do the same thing um, as what I did for January, no, yes, January and February, but then this time it's a February wrap up and a March TBR. So let's start with the wrap up. February was quite... A weird reading month I don't know I started out reading absolutely nothing for two weeks and then the last week I was suddenly like oh my god I have to read I want to read and yeah then I tried to read a lot um, didn't go very well so this reading month was not the best but it's fine I did read some good comfort reads actually so let's just start with the first book I read which was Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. <laughs> so by now I've mentioned it in probably all of my previous videos, I don't know, um, but this book is the first one that I finished this month and it was so good. The beginning, like I wasn't as hooked to the beginning as I was to other novels, but like f starting from page like, I don't know, 70, I was really hooked and I was really into it and I just wanted to read it through in one go, that wasn't possible, I didn't do that because it has like a lot of pages, it has 500 pages, so like I didn't read it in one th in one go, but I did read it pretty quickly for a 500 pages book. I have a vlog up on my channel in which I talk about this book a lot more and also about the two others that I'm going to show you. So I'm not just gonna repeat myself, all I'm gonna say is that this was really really good, I enjoyed this so much, I love the way Dickens starts out the story and introduces you to so many different characters and like at first you're like wondering what all of these characters have to do with each other but at a certain point in the book like you realize what they have to do with each other well what an explanation and I really like that I don't know how to explain it but it's just I'm always shocked when reading Charles Dickens' novels, like there are always plot twists that I do not expect. I actually think this was my favorite Dickens I've read so far and I would really recommend it to anyone who wants to start out reading Charles Dickens because it's actually a really good, easy read actually, even though it's Dickens, like it's pretty easy to get through. It's one of the easier classics I've read, I would say, and I really enjoyed it. So yeah. <laughs> Next, I actually wanted to read A Farewell to Arms by Ernest Hemingway and I actually started reading it, but then I quit because I wasn't in the mood for that. I wanted a comfort read and Hemingway isn't really a comfort author, I think. So if you saw my reading vlog that I just mentioned, well, then you might know that I put it down and read this instead, which is the advent... wow. <laughs> Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll and this was amazing I only read the uh, I'm sorry I can't speak today what the heck um I only read Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and not Through the Looking Glass but I'm actually hoping to read Through the Looking Glass next month so in March because I loved Alice's Adventures in Wonderland so much this was such a comfort read for me I am so obsessed like I can't believe I had never read this as a child like I have seen the cartoon movie version like the animated movie and I've seen this show like Once Upon a Time in Wonderland I think it's called which was like yeah, I don't know I just watched that I remember watching that when I was younger and I watched some movies like some different movies of Alice but I have never read the book until this month and I really enjoyed it the pictures <sighs> I love pictures in books and oh god, I love them. This was a very quick read, I read this in one day, but that's honestly what I needed um, this month because I was not feeling the reading vibe and this was just lovely. I really love children's literature, I think there's so much to get out of it and so much fun and imagination and wonder and we love that. You see what I did there? Like a lot of wonder, wonderland. Okay, anyways. Next is a book I finished today and that is Colomba by Prosper Merimé. Merimé, Prosper Merimé, je ne sais pas. This is a, one of those French books that I mentioned before that I wanted to read. Um, I finished this earlier today and it was fun. I don't have a lot to say about this. I'm also not going to say a lot about this because I don't think 
it's interesting for you guys. Also, I don't have a lot to say about this. I read them mainly because they're French and I just want to get better at French, but it's also a fun read. Just, I don't, like, it didn't make me feel like, okay, it was cute, it was cute, but yeah. And those actually were all the books I read last month. So only like one full-length novel, a children's book, and a French really small novel. So that wasn't a lot, but I did almost finished The Secret Garden by Frances Hutchinson Burnett, which is what I'm currently still reading. Um, I need to read 60 more pages. But actually I'm feeling like reading today, so I'll probably finish this either today or tomorrow. But this is my current read. I just wanted to mention it. Otherwise there's like this awkward gap between like my books from last month and then the books that I'm gonna read in March. Like it just doesn't make sense. So. I'm still reading this one, hoping to finish this soon. This is... I'm loving this already, like this is so cute. This book is about this girl, Mary Lennox, and her parents die from the flu, I think? Okay, anyways, I don't know what their parents die from. Um, so she lived in India and then she moves to England to live with her uncle... Uncle, I forgot his name, doesn't really matter because he's not really in the picture, he doesn't really care. She just moves there and he lives in this like gigantic house with a lot of locked up rooms and a locked up garden. Um, and like the secret garden, she finds it and it's just lovely. Um, Mary Lennox, like in the beginning, she was very spoiled and rude and just she thought she was a holy queen or whatever she thought she was and it's like I watched this show Girl Meets World I watched that on Disney Plus because I used to watch it as a child so just nostalgia and like the running theme in that show was people change people and I feel like that is also kind of the running theme of this book as there are two other kids that Mary meets um Dickon who is the brother of one of her nurses and Colin, who is actually her cousin that lives in the house too, and cousin is... Ugh, cousin, wow, and Colin is also very spoiled and rude, thinks he's a king, he's sick, um, but like he makes himself even more sick by constantly saying that he can't do stuff because he's sick, and you just see how much these kids like change each other. First Dickon and Mary, and then Mary and Colin, and then all three of them, and that is just wonderful and I think this is definitely a good book to read to children and I do think children will learn a lot from this. Me personally, I am enjoying this but it's not like it teaches me something moral or whatever but that, like what can you expect honestly. Um, I really love it, definitely this time around, this time of year, it's really nice to read a book like this. Next let's go to the March TBR. I'm so confused with the months. Um, the first book I want to read is Monsieur, is Monsieur et Madame Curie by Yves Igo, um, which is oh, which is another one of those French books. Only this one only has twenty pages. So I guess I'll be finished with this tomorrow. I don't know. Um, I don't have a lot to say about this. This is just a French book that I want to read. So yeah. Next I want to read Beloved by Toni Morrison and again I've talked about this book before in um, my book haul which if you haven't seen that yet maybe you should check it out after watching this video. Um, this is one of the books I wanted to read in 2021 and I recently bought it so I really just want to read this. I don't know a lot about this, so I'll just read the back, which is also what I did in my last video when I talked about this, so I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself. <laughs> um, so the back says, Terrible, unspeakable things happen to Seed at Sweet Home, the farm where she lived as a slave for so many years until she escaped to Ohio. Her new life is full of hope, but 80 years later she is still not free. Seed's new home is not only haunted by the memories of her past, but also by the ghost of her baby, who died nameless and whose tombstone is engraved with a single word, word, wow, I really ruined that, <laughs> with a single word, beloved. So that's what this is about. Um, it just sounds so interesting. I never read a story that had like a slave as a main character and that's quite a shame. I don't know, for some people I always read about rich people like Mary Lennox. Um, 
but that's fine um we're trying something new honestly I don't really know what to expect from this book, but I am really, really excited to read this. I've heard a lot of good things about this, so I don't have a lot to say about this. I, I'm just excited, so I guess we'll see um, what happens. <laughs> Next, I want to read Persuasion by Jane Austen. I love Jane Austen. Need I say more? I don't know. Um, last year, I read Emma and Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, so my first two Austen novels, and I want to carry on the tradition and read some more of her works because I love her work. Um, she's wow, she's one of my favorite authors, and again, her books have pictures drawings and I love those. I live for drawings like this. But yeah, Persuasion, do I know what this is about? No. Did I pick it up because it's Jane Austen? Absolutely. But I'll read it back for you. What does Persuasion mean? A firm belief or the action of persuading someone to think something else? Question <laughs> mark. Anne Elliot is one of Austen's quietest heroines, but also one of the strongest and the most open to change. She lives at the time of the Napoleon Wars, um, a time of accident, adventure, the making of new fortunes and alliances. A woman of no importance, she maneuvers in her restricted circumstances as her longtime love, Captain Wentworth, did in the wars. Even though she's nearly, nearly 30, well past the sell-by bloom of youth, Austen makes her whim went out for herself and for others like herself in a regenerated story, regenerated story. I'm sorry, I can't read, I can't speak. This video, I'm not sure what that is. Again, I don't have a lot to say about this. I want to read it because it's an Austin. Um, it also isn't that very long. I picked out like rather small books for next month because I think I'll have to read another book for school either in March or in April, so I'm not like sure. Um, but this is exciting. I love Jane Austen. It's been since last summer since I read Emma, so I'm hungry for a new Austen novel reading experience. So let's go. <laughs> and then last but not least, I want to read The Warden by Anthony Trollope, which I know I've also talked about before. I'm sorry, I'm gonna try to be more original in my next reading videos, but you know what, it's fine. I'm also gonna read the blurb for this one. I'm sorry, but I can't explain and I don't know what it was about. But even if I knew what it was about, as I said, like, I can't explain. Like, I'm bad at explaining things. So, for your sake, for my sake, I will just read the back. The Warden centers on Reverend Harding and his youngest daughter, Eleanor. It tells with gentle humor and subtle satire of the moral dilemma he faces when accused of living on the funds that should be distributed to the almhouse to which he has been appointed warden. Sounds interesting. Honestly, again, these videos like make no sense because I like I literally have nothing to say. But but I just like going into books like kind of blind, not knowing very much about it. So I can't tell you a lot about these books, but I still hope like you get some inspiration from these videos. I, I don't even I don't even know at this point. Beautiful edition though. <laughs> this is also a very short novel that I just thought I'd whip in here. Um, but it was also the last one. I want to apologize for this video. I don't know what it was. It feels... I don't know what it feels like. I'm just not um, finding my words. And now I'm also not finding my words. I hope you enjoyed the video anyways, even though it was a bit random and weird and all over the place, but that's who I am, honestly. So thank you so much for watching. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay reading, and I'll see you next time. Bye.